Hey! Mine's working. Mine's working good. So now I have to stick this in my butt. Doink. Hi, I'm Christian. I'm Alicia. Welcome to Eat the Pizza. And today we're making pizza with a twist. This is the second episode of Eat the Pizza and we thought rather than making a fun flavored pizza like last week, we would make a pizza flavored thing. We're going with pretzels. This is not my recipe, it is a Betty Crocker recipe. I have not made it before. In fact, I've never made pretzels before. Have you ever folded a pretzel, like it done the twist? I have not. Have you? I have not. <laughs> oh, oh, whoops. All right, so let's get started. Let's get the out. The stuff out. Whoops. Okay, right. so I'm using this small bowl to mix the stuff together. Shredded mozzarella. Flouring the surface. It says lightly floured, but. It doesn't look very light. So we are using a pizza crust Pillsbury just like last week. I guess we're not that original, but this is actually what the recipe calls for. And it's delicious. You know, just whack it on the table. Oh, you gotta press the seam. Oh. oh. So what are you doing? I'm making the pizza filling. So that's gonna be half cup of shredded mozzarella. Next, I gotta do finely chopped pepperoni. And I am making four doughs for our pretzels. So I gotta roll this out. It says 12 by 14 inches, and I actually did bring a ruler. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was a good student. <laughs> um, so now I'm actually gonna cut this into four strips lengthwise. Do not try this at home. I actually hate this pizza cutter. This actually worked way better than <laughs> Spoon about a quarter cup of the filling into each long dough strip. Stretch dough over filling brush edges with water and pinch to seal. Pick up ends of filled dough and stretch to make a 24 inch rope. 24 inches? This is not a long enough ruler. There's four, um, so my math tells me you should do two and I should do two. Yep. So a quarter cup of the filling, Christian. Not too much. You're not very good at estimating, <laughs> no offense. You didn't add very much sauce to this. I added the exact amount of sauce it uh, it's called for. Now we gotta roll them, fold them, uh, fill them. I mean. I'm a pizza boy. And I'm a pizza boy. Hmm. Here, let me try. Brush it just with water and pinch to seal. Okay. To make pretzel shape, form each rope into a U shape. Twist the ends twice. Press down where dough overlaps in an X to hold U shape. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost a pretzel. Look at that. That does not look like a pretzel. It's pretzel -y. No, that's not how they do it at Annie Ann's. Oh. Yeah, like this, look. That's a f***ing. Oh boy, oh, 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 oh. That's a pretzel. Okay, so we have our water heated. I'm adding my baking soda from the fridge. So now we're gonna dip these. And the purpose of this, from the research I've done, is it is an alkali bath. And this is what makes a pretzel look and taste like a pretzel. So if you don't do this pretty much, you have just just a bread. First pretzel going in. In and out. One. Wanna do the next one? Quick, quick, quick. And out. Weep. So hopefully that alkali bath worked. I'll tell you, I think that it is gonna work. Okay. All right, so let's brush this on. Love it, can't wait. <laughs> Thank you, Betty Cracker. All right, and now I'm sprinkling some coarse sea salt. Okay, we should Thank put you. them in the oven, but I think we need to make them look pe more pizza-y. You're gonna put little mini peps on them? Or regular size. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's more like the... Like, just put a few. Do we need to put some cheese on top of them, too? Yeah, get the cheese. Please, please give me the pepperoni. You want a pepperoni? I can't give it to you. Into the oven. All right, so while that's baking, it is time for the pizza fact of the day, which is a new thing that we're gonna do in every episode. So, today, what's the fact? Um, <clears throat> sorry. Pizza comes from the Latin word, pizza. Pizza. Which means the blackening of crust by fire. 
You know, I gotta say, that makes sense. It does make sense, so that's where pizza comes from. Now you know! Now that's you where pizza know. Comes from. <laughs> okay. Look, they actually are browning like a pretzel. So they're out of the oven, and I've gotta say, I'm pretty impressed because I see some pretzel browning going on. They look like pizza pretzels. They look like pizza pretzels. I think that putting the pepperoni and cheese on top was a smart choice. Number if one. I do say so myself. So we have our pizza flavored pretzels and it's time to eat the pizza. Yeah, the crispiness is like a pretzel. It must be the alkali pan. It's pizza in pretzel form. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend this recipe. So we hope you enjoyed this second episode of Eat the Pizza. Last week we made a funky flavored pizza. This week we made a pizza flavored thing. If you have ideas for any pizza flavored things or funky flavored pizzas that you want us to make, leave them in the comments below. Also, you can follow us on social media at Eat the Pizza Show on Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, Facebook Pinterest. And our website is eatthepizzashow.com uh, .com, where you can see all of our social, you can sign up for our newsletter, and you can see our merch. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. Mm. Not a mistake.